Hi guys, my name is Meg with the blog .com, and today we are doing part four of our moving update. So obviously I'm in a different space here. I haven't filmed here before. We are officially actually living in our new house, which is really exciting. So I'm filming this after we've moved. The, the move's officially over. We're pretty much like unpacked for the most part. There's just a lot of organizing to do in the garage, but like we're here all living in the house. So I wanted to fill you guys in on the last few things that happened before we moved and then the actual move and how we've been liking it here. And so let's just get right into this video. So it's been a while since I filmed part three, but I'm pretty sure I talked about that we were past the inspection on this, on our old house. It had gone through smoothly and so that was the last thing to do on that house besides wait for the title stuff to get there and have the new owner approve all that which that went smoothly and then the last thing to do after all that was to get the appraisal done on this new house which was a little bit actually nerve-wracking even though appraisals aren't normally a huge deal and my mom who's our realtor wasn't worried about it at all she figured it would totally appraise for what we were paying for it because it, it is actually a pretty good price for how high the market is and how much land this has and all that so it wasn't really a huge worry but i was just starting to think like if it falls through because of the appraisal that's going to be so stupid like it was the last thing we had to do we had gotten through so many hurdles I'm like, I just cannot wait to get through this last thing and that we can just like be done and we can close. I just so badly wanted it to be final because I couldn't even let myself get attached. Like I was still trying to stay somewhat distant, not get too attached to the new house and not like make too many new plans because if it did fall through, that was gonna make it really, really difficult for me to kind of let go. So they scheduled the appraisal and then the appraiser got sick and so they scheduled it again for the last day before their deadline so i guess they have the appraiser has a deadline to get the appraisal back to the bank that you're borrowing money from i'm pretty sure i'm not totally sure how all this works but i'm pretty sure that's what happens so they had the appraisal on the last day that they before their deadline <laughs> i'm like there's no way they're gonna get the appraisal back by the deadline so they ended up not getting it back before the deadline, but we we ended up getting a little bit of a bonus. I, I think it was a, a few hundred dollars because the appraisal was late, which was kind of nice. And it didn't hold up us closing any longer. So that all turned out fine, but it was like, oh my gosh, how, how far out can you guys push this? Like people around here seem like they're not very on top of it a lot of times and they just do things really slow and and me, who makes a decision in like 30 seconds, it, it drives me absolutely crazy. But it did appraise for what we're paying for it, so that was no issue at all, which I was just so thankful for. So then that was the last thing that we had to do. We could officially close. So we ended up closing on our old house. I'm pretty sure we closed on the 20th, and then we closed on this house on the 21st. And it was like, almost surreal when we finally owned this we went and picked up the keys we drove up here with some i think we took our two big um our big upright freezer and our chest freezer and a few other things for the first load we came up here but we we're like we actually own this now like after all that like i think luke looked at his calendar and it was like eight weeks ago that we initially came and looked at this house and we were like okay we like it we'll put in an offer and then going through the inspections on this house and trying to get our old house sold within the deadline or we'd lose this house and then that kept falling through and people would back out and then we got someone who actually put in an offer and then get through the inspection with that and the appraisal with this and like there's so many hurdles it is just insane i never want to move again i'm telling you what that was terrible so just like the feeling when we finally like owned it it was ours our other house had officially sold which that was a whole other weird feeling that we were still living in that house and we didn't actually own it and like uh, i really hope nothing breaks while <laughs> we're still living here so that was a whole weird feeling in, its, in and of itself and then it's like like what that's it like it's just we own it now like what 
what's going on. It was, I don't know, especially being pregnant through all this and I just get more emotional when I'm pregnant. It, it's been a very interesting experience. So we closed on Friday the 21st. Pretty sure it was a Friday, but we could have moved that weekend, but it was actually raining really hard all that weekend. Like so much rain, it was ridiculous. Like that, so much rain for Montana. And Luke's family was off on vacation and we were hoping that they could help us with the move. I was hoping that I could get some of the ladies to come here and help me clean before we moved anything into the house. So we ended up waiting until the following weekend, the 29th, before we scheduled the big move day. So that was nice to just have an extra week. I had a bunch of ladies in the family come on the Monday after we closed and just clean the entire house because it was bad. It was really bad. I'm gonna put some before and after pictures on this video of the cleaning process because it was nasty. And the freaky thing is that people were living here in that condition. There were renters here before we moved in. And I'm just like, how can you live like that? I just don't even understand like how when I see something dirty in our house, it just bothers me until I clean it. Even if I don't feel like clean, I don't love cleaning. Like I don't actually enjoy it even, but I hate having things look so dirty. So it was really surprising to me just how dirty the house was. And I was very insistent that we get it all squeaky clean before I put any of our stuff in it because other people's germs freak me out a little bit. And especially bathrooms, like, it takes me so long before I feel comfortable taking a bath in a new house because I'm like, other people took a bath in this and that's just, like, no matter how much I clean it, it still freaks me out for like the first six months to a year. I'm just a little bit weird like that. Is anyone else like that? Because I feel like, I feel like that's a little bit excessive. But we got it completely clean except for the master bedroom because me and Luke had just pulled up the carpet in there. It was the only room that had carpet still on it, it was nasty, and there's gorgeous hardwood floors underneath it. So we pulled up the carpet, and there was tack strips all around the edges, and staples all over the middle of the room. We didn't have time before we moved to pull all that up, and you can't exactly mop while there's staples all over the floor. So we left that one room uncleaned, everything else was fine. I couldn't believe how much that stressed me out moving in with a dirty room. <laughs> we actually slept the first night in that room with it like that, but the next day we did clean it. So 29th was the big move day. We had so many family members and friends help us. It was such a huge blessing, it went so fast. There were so many big trucks of trailers. And so everyone met at our old house. We loaded up as much stuff as we could. We didn't quite get everything. There was some outdoor stuff that wouldn't fit, but Luke's been going back when he goes to work every day, he'll get a load in the back of his pickup and bring it back up. So I think there's only one more pickup load size that we need to get. But everyone loaded up. My grandpa bought his, brought his flatbed trailer so we could roll our chickshaw chicken tractor onto it because it's too wide for a trailer that has actual sides. So that was interesting. And then everyone caravaned up here. It's about half an hour away from our old house. So we were really hoping we could just do it all in one trip, or at least get enough of it in one trip that we wouldn't have to make people make two trips and drive two hours, <laughs> going back and forth half an hour every time. So it took like about an hour and a half to load up everything. And then when, when we got here, it was actually really fast. I don't know, I felt like it was half an hour and everyone had everything unloaded. It was shockingly fast to get it unloaded. And then we had gotten pizzas for everyone, so everyone stayed and had pizza and toured the house and visited. And I was definitely chomping at the bit to like get unpacking because that's really exciting and just like arrange all my furniture and like hang artwork and because that's just really fun for me, so. So it is, now it's June 2nd, so we've been here for a few days. We've spent several nights and it's starting to feel a little bit normal, although Today is the first day that Luke went back to work since we've moved. He actually took the first Monday and Tuesday off to help me kind of get settled in and get things organized and rearranged because I've been having a little bit of a hard time with um, energy levels and stuff during this pregnancy and then we have two little kids. So 
I was very thankful for having extra help with getting things sorted out before Luke left me on my own. <laughs> but today is the first day that he's back to work and it feels very weird. I'm feeling a little bit emotional today because I feel like the first few days were just like really new and exciting and like Luke was here, it almost felt like a vacation. And then now today he's gone, we're like back to real life and I'm, it's like really starting to sink in like, oh, like we're not going back to that house and I'm starting to feel sad, I'm starting to feel like we abandoned it. I, I just don't always do well change, particularly when I'm pregnant. So, and it doesn't help that my, my two year old is asking, can we go home now? And when Luke left for work, she thought he was going to our old house without her and she was very upset. But we are adjusting. We have pretty much everything unpacked in the house. It's, it is starting to feel like home, especially seeing our stuff in the house. It's like really helping, but we're absolutely loving it here. It is such a blessing and there's so much space here and there's, it's like so quiet because no one drives down our road. Going from living in town where you just hear cars driving and we were on actually a pretty busy street for our town. But you just hear cars all the time and you hear people walking down the sidewalk in front of your house talking and there's just sounds. And we're here and it's like so eerily quiet. It's taken me a little bit of getting used to because I'm used to just more noise. I'm like, I was thinking this morning, what was in our other house that made noise that makes this house seem quiet? But I realized it's probably the noises from living in town to not living in town. So I've been trying to play more mu music to make it not seem so deathly quiet. But I just cannot believe that we are finally moved. After that whole process, we own this house. We live here now. It's like, what? I don't know, it feels very surreal and I, we feel very blessed and thankful and thankful that you guys have been praying for us and following along on this journey and I feel like we've had a bunch of friends like following along and seeing what's going on. So I did share an empty house tour on my YouTube channel, one of my last videos. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below so you can actually see this new house before we put anything in it, see the land, which is one of the best features. It has almost 10 acres. And then once we have everything actually completely unpacked and arranged and we're kind of like a little bit back to normal, probably in a couple weeks, I will film a furnished house tour and show like how we've arranged stuff and how I hung artwork and where we put our animals and all that stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying all this new content and thank you for following along this journey. This is the last part this is part four and it'll be the last in this series of moving updates, but I will be moving on to renovation updates and just all of our plans with that. So make sure you stick around because there'll be a lot more content to come and I'm really excited about it. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.